In this video, we will review the properties of vertical angles and linear pair in order to find missing values. The importance of vertical angles and linear pair is very high, and we need to make sure we have these skills and these concepts down. First, let's review vertical angles. Two angles formed by intersecting lines share a vertex, but not share a side. Apparently, I can't spell. But this is what we're looking at. These are intersecting lines. Here's my vertex. My vertical angles would be these two angles, angle 1 and angle 2. If angles are vertical angles, then they are congruent. So I know that angle 1 is congruent to angle 2 because they are vertical angles. I also know that the measure of angle 1 equals the measure of angle 2. That's the conclusion I can draw. I also know that this angle 3 and this angle 4 are vertical angles. They share a vertex but no side when I'm dealing with intersecting lines. So angle 3 is also congruent to angle 4 or the measure of angle 3 equals the measure of angle 4. Okay. Those are the equations that I would set up when I have vertical angles, and we'll look at some examples here momentarily. A linear pair, on the other hand, is two angles who share a vertex, a common side, and combine to form a line. Because they combine to form a line, we know that if angles are linear pair, then they are supplementary, which means they their angle measures add to 180 degrees. Notice I didn't in def the definition say that it has to be intersecting lines. It can be intersecting lines like angles 1 and 2 here. These are intersecting lines. These are angles that share a vertex and share a side. I know that angle 1 and 2 are a linear pair concluding that the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 equals 180 degrees. They are supplementary. But I also could say that, hey, angles 3 and 4 also form a line. So I could say that the measure of angle 3 plus the measure of angle 4 add to 180 degrees. They are a linear pair. There are two other combinations here. I won't go through the process of writing them down. But angle 2 and 3, they form a line. Measure of angle 2 plus that measure of angle 3 is 180. Same goes with angles 1 and 4. So we have four different pair of linear pairs. Let's get some application of these. First, on their own, we need to be able to look at this diagram and see that this angle and this angle here together form a line. Since they form a line together, they are a linear pair, which means their measures are supplementary. I will add my two angles together and set them equal to 180 degrees. Compare that to example two here, where I have this angle and this angle, notice I used the same symbol because these angles are vertical angles. Vertical angles are congruent. We set their measures equal. That's the decision making that we have to do. That's the geometry that's involved in these diagrams. So now to go through and do the algebra, it's 3x plus 12, that's this first angle, plus 5x, my second angle. Combine my like terms, subtract 12 from both sides, and 180 minus 12, we get the 168. Divide both sides by 8, we get x equals 21. In number two, they set they're equal to each other. They're vertical angles. 5x plus 17 equals 9x minus 21. That's the geometry. You have to be able to see it and write down this equation. Now it's an algebra problem. 
subtract 5x from both sides, add 21 to both sides, we get 4x equals 38, divide both sides by 4, and you get x equals 9.5. And that's okay. You can get decimals. Decimals are not necessarily wrong. Now, more to the point, and problems that were more like the more complex ones that we dealt with are these two examples at the bottom where I'm combining my two ideas. I have to be able to look at this, and I know I need to solve for x and find the measure of angle 1. Well, x is in this angle here, and x is in this angle here. You need to recognize this angle and this angle are formed by intersecting lines, they share a vertex but have no common side that makes them vertical angles which are congruent therefore equal. So step one here is to see that 10x plus 15 is equal to 8x plus 45. This angle equals this angle. That's the geometry. If you can't solve the algebra problems, sometimes there are problems with variable on both sides. Sometimes they might be a system of equations. Occasionally they are a quadratic. You need to come in for the algebra help. This part here was the geometry. And we go through and solve. Subtract 8x from both sides and subtract 15 from both sides. Divide everything by 2. We get x equals 15. But that's part of the answer. The second part of my answer is to find the measure of angle 1, which is this angle here. It is not a vertical angle with anything I've been given, but it is a linear pair. This angle, if I call this angle 1 and this angle 2, they are a linear pair. I need to be able to take this concept that this angle, I guess I shouldn't call it angle 1 and 2 since I already have this as angle 1, I'll call this angle 2. Now angle 1 and angle 2 are a linear pair. That means that 8x plus 45, which is this angle here, plus the measure of angle 1 equals 180. These two are a linear pair. But I already know what x is x is 15, so substitute in. 8 times 15 plus 45 plus the measure of angle 1 equals 180. And it becomes an algebra problem. When I solve this, that's 165 plus the measure of angle 1 equals 180. So this being 165 means that this here is a 165 degree angle. Subtract 165 from both sides. Measure of angle 1 equals 15 degrees. There's my two-part answer. Measure of angle 1 and x equals 15. I want you to take those ideas and try the second problem here. So you're going to press pause Set up your equation, solve for x, find the measure of angle 1. When you're done, unpause to check your work. So hopefully we have found x is 5. Vertical angles means they're congruent, means I set them equal. Algebra gets x equal to 5. Now, angle 1 and Either this angle, I could call it angle 2, or this angle, angle 3. Angle 2 and 3 are congruent. Angles 1 and 3 are supplementary, linear pair. So if I put 5 in for x, 15 plus 12 means this is a 27 degree angle. Then 27 degrees plus angle 1 forms a line. 27 plus the measure of angle 1 equals 180. Solve to find the measure of angle 1 equals 153 degrees.